okay, now we want to find out what the new boiling point or new freezing point of a solution is based on its concentration and how many particles it breaks up into when you dissolve it. To find the boiling point elevation, what you must remember is that water boils normally at 100 degrees Celsius. Now remember, this depends on the pressure, but let's assume we're at sea level, normal atmospheric pressure, where the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. The boiling point is going to go up by a factor of 0.52 degrees Celsius per molal of dissolved particles. Now, remember, some solutes break up into ions when you dissolve them, electrolytes, and some compounds don't break up into ions when you dissolve them, non-electrolytes. So we have to take that into consideration when we do our calculation. 0.52 degrees Celsius per molal. So if we multiply that by molal, then the molal will cancel out and leave us with degrees Celsius. But we also have to multiply by the number of particles that the solute breaks up into when you dissolve it into the solution. So what is the boiling point of a 2.0 molal solution of calcium nitrate? Well, the normal boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius. Now, that would be 100.00000000000. So when you add, don't worry about this. Whatever you get, you're going to get. Add to that the molality of the solution, 2.0 molal, times the number of particles that calcium nitrate breaks up into when you put it into solution. Well, being an ionic compound and a soluble one, it'll break up into one calcium ion and two nitrate ions for a total of three ions per formula unit, or three moles of ions per mole of calcium nitrate. Three particles times 0.52 degrees Celsius per molal. This way the molal will cancel and you'll be adding degrees Celsius to degrees Celsius. So the temperature of the boiling point will increase by 3.12 degrees Celsius. Now let's see. We have two sig figs. That's just a, that's not even a measurement, right? We just counted, so sig figs don't apply. And two sig figs. So let's make that 3.1 degrees Celsius. Two sig figs. Well, if we take 100 degrees Celsius and add 3.1 degrees Celsius, our new boiling point is 103.1 degrees Celsius. So a two molal solution of calcium nitrate, the boiling point will increase by 3.1 degrees Celsius to a new boiling point, 103.1 degrees Celsius. What is the boiling point of a two molal solution of glucose? Well, again, the same thing, 100 degrees Celsius plus 2.0 molal times, now wait, non-metal, non-metal, non-metal. This is covalently bonded. That makes it a non-electrolyte. This will not break up into ions because it's not ionic. So the number of particles we're dealing with here is one. It doesn't break up any further. Multiply that by the boiling point elevation, 0.52 degrees Celsius per molal. Molality will cancel and will leave you with 1.04 degrees Celsius. Now, two sig figs, two sig figs, that'll be 1.0 degrees Celsius. So if we add 100 degrees Celsius to that, we get 101.0 degrees Celsius. And that is our new boiling point. So you can see, even though the molalities are the same, because calcium nitrate breaks up into three times as many particles as glucose does, the effect on the boiling point will be about three times greater. The boiling point of calcium nitrate went up by about three degrees, where the boiling point of the same molality of sugar only goes up by one degree. Freezing point depression. Well, water freezes at zero degrees Celsius, and the effect on the freezing point is actually significantly more than the effect on the boiling point when you dissolve something into water. Remember, the boiling point of water went up by 0.52 degrees Celsius per molal, right? Well, the freezing point depression is 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal, almost four times as much impact on the freezing point as the boiling point. You put this stuff in your car's engine, it'll raise the boiling point of the water coolant in your engine, making it harder for the water to boil, and it will lower the freezing point of the water in your car's engine, 
Which one is it going to have a greater impact on? Significantly greater impact on freezing. I wonder why they call it antifreeze. Maybe it's married to Uncle Freeze. So we're going to start at zero degrees Celsius and we're going to subtract the same way we did before, the molality of the solution times the number of particles that the solute breaks up into when it's ionized in the water times 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal of concentration. So the freezing point of a two molal solution of calcium nitrate. Now as we saw before, calcium nitrate breaks up into three ions. One calcium ion and two nitrate ions. So we're going to multiply that by three times the freezing point depression of 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal. Molality cancels and when you multiply these together you get 11.16 degrees Celsius. Two sig figs, three sig figs, let's round to two sig figs, that's 11 What's zero degrees Celsius minus 11 degrees Celsius? The new freezing point is minus 11 degrees Celsius. It'll protect to 11 degrees below the freezing point. And you see what would happen. The higher the concentration, the lower the freezing point would get. And the more particles we put in there, the lower the freezing point would get. Doing the same thing again with sugar, glucose, we take zero degrees Celsius minus the 2.0 molal solution times, and remember glucose, covalent bonds, all nonmetals, that would be a non-electrolyte, one particle, times 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal. So that molal cancels. So let's see, two sig figs, three sig figs, let's round to two sig figs. Subtract zero, and you've got negative 3.7 degrees Celsius. So once again, you can see the calcium nitrate's freezing point will be dropped three times as much as the glucose's freezing point is dropped, because calcium nitrate ionizes into three ions where the glucose doesn't ionize at all.